Hey everyone, today I want to show you guys a product that's going to make your 2JZ swap way easier, which is the patent pending Solo Swap 2JZ block from Speedway Motors. So, the Solo Swap, it's a 12 gauge mock up block that weighs just 19 pounds for the short block version and 30 pounds with the mock up head, and that's just the 2JZ. Other engines will have different weights, of course. It ships flat in a box. And once it's together, you can bolt literally everything you put on a real 2JZ to this block. Oil pan, turbos, exhaust manifolds, intakes, the whole deal. So let's just dive in and I'll show you how this thing works and we'll start off by assembling the unit. We have assembled the head portion of the product. This is a design that accommodates both GE and GTE head bolt patterns, intake, exhaust, what have you, and any other unique attributes in terms of um, bolt-on assets, if you will. All right, on to the block. Okay, so we got the short block assembled. I attached the head and I went a step further and put together the turbo mock-up piece, which we do have our turbo. We know how big it's gonna um, be, where it's gonna land in space, but this allows us to not actually have to bolt the turbo to the engine while we're doing other work and contaminate it with dust, debris, and whatnot. And obviously, we also bolted on my custom header manifold. Now, this was built on the actual motor many moons ago, but you could just as easily bolt it to this. So at this point, I might go ahead and um, get this exhaust manifold off here and bolt up the um, solo swap block to the transmission and then get it back in the car and then start doing some work and mock up our intake exhaust and um, suspension strut tower bar just to make sure everything still clears like we, we think it does and make some progress. For those of you that don't know, I am using a CD009 transmission, which is a Nissan six speed on the back of this 2JZ, which requires this adapter plate. And what we'll do now, we'll pull the header off the solo swap put the oil pan on the bottom of it, and then physically carry it over in there and bolt it up. Basically, I've reinstalled a lot of the critical parts that would be vital to making sure things um, are gonna clear, so yeah strut tower bar that is obviously spanning the width and uh, about half the length of the engine bay that has potential to hit you know the turbo the valve covers the you know support bars on the side um, you know what have you by reinstalling that and using the patent pending solo swap 2jz kit from speedway motors that allows me to bolt all these things including the valve covers intake manifold, the intake manifold plenum, exhaust manifold, everything up in order to see what everything looks like in space. The other thing too, like we mentioned, the CD009 transmission from Nissan is bolted to the back of this thing with an adapter plate. And that also requires special attention to ensure that the motor relative to the transmission, relative to the header, relative to the strut tower bar, everything is clearing. Our exhaust manifold and exhaust bits, those are extremely tight clearances in there. And again, this takes that out of the equation. You can take that motor out. You can have it machined simultaneously while you're working on fab work for your headers and exhaust. When you're done, it breaks down flat for storage. No more having a giant mock-up block taking up space in your shop. So this will work with any 91 to 2002 2JZ parts. So whether you're working on a GE or a GTE setup, you're covered. Honestly, if you're planning a 2JZ swap, this tool is a game changer. It makes the whole process safer, easier, and way more efficient. 